Jordan here with another or fall 2019 Star Wars set review and this time it is on the ATST Rare. Also this is my first the Star Wars The Mandalorian set review. So on, the, so on the front of the box here which is the usual border we've seen since the beginning of the year. There with the logos there and picture of the whole set in action and set number or I mean, recommended age is 8 and up. Set number 75254 has 450 pieces. Let's and pan down Disney logo and all the mini things included. And let's flip to the back scene. It in our resting position and all the features of it. And then, uh, So now on to the instruction booklet. Of it, same picture as on the front of the box and everything. On the back, I went on the online survey. All the pieces that come with the set, which is three pages. After the Skywalker Saga game. After all the uh, fall. 2019 sets, and after all the minifigs including each set, and then after Lego Life and the last box. So, for each minifig included with this set, first of all, first set is the Mandalorian, which is the main antagonist of this show. His torso print of which uh, done quite nicely done. And what a little flop this one is that the cape piece of which is that same thick material wrap. Would have wished they would have stuck with the more regular material. Or a thin cloth material that they done recently. So there's the torso print again. And the helmet piece is just about the same as from the from Boba Fett and Jango Fett and other Mandalorians. Right? But in all Gamel Grey color. And if I take this off, the same it's gonna be the same as Cat Fast, but I expect the yeah, her face is right. No, plain black. Well, I'll be fine if all the stormtroopers all had these, but he is very specific. I guess they didn't want to reveal it at this time, but they'll probably release it, him in other sets down the line. If you look from the back, it has some more right torso print from the back, of course, and also the gun of which. It's built quite similar to how it looks in the pictures and yeah. And next up is Kara Dune, which I'm not sure who this character is yet. Let's see if it decides to focus. But other than that, let's see the hair piece of which about the same as Wonder Woman and other ones. Oh, yeah. But as for the blaster, which was is the really long kind, but with a lightsaber hilt onto it, just as some extra detail to it. It's okay then, and and as the face print of which kinda of interesting like with the Tear dot mark, not sure what that's for, and but other than that, the torso print of which looks cool, and the back torso print of which also quite cool, and also features double sided face. And is he get two of in this set? Are the Collectorian? And how in Raiders? Uh, not sure how to say that, right? So, so this is the first one of which. 
but which does have some the same pistols that we've seen on Django Effect one. So, yeah, kind of interesting. And also do have that like shoulder guard piece that we've seen in the Lego Movie 2 line. And the helmet of which we've seen on like football player figures and things. And but the face print of which done quite kinda of interesting. Kind of interesting interested seeing how it'll turn out. And it is from the back printing of which, but no double sided face each one doesn't. And on to the other one, which has some bit of slight difference. But the turtle print of which done or the leg print of which done the same as the other, but however the torso print done differently and has different colored arms and also a similar gun to Kara Dunes. But the face print of which done about the same or which same as the others, but does have the lower jaw piece that also came on Ultron in the Marvel line. And that's about it. With the in this pack. And now onto the ATST Walker or Raider itself. Uh, which kind of similar to as our last, or one of our last couple ones, the 2016 Rogue One version, as well as the uh, 2018 Last Jedi version. But however, this one was quite a lot different than the other ones. And so the first sign of which is the legs, which have some asymmetry. Which I see one foot that does have. It has some like gray stickering, and the other has rustic brown kind. Of and of course, the legs of which asymmetric. Like one is mostly white red with some brown, and the other is all brown. Probably to make it look like it's been rusted or torn and whatnot. And then, yeah, some of those other pieces there acting as greeples to it. But as for the upper area, which, well, this one does have some, has some whip pieces acting as vine, but in, in the form of moving, they are on the ratcheted joints to make them, which makes them go back really far, but can't go all the way far ahead like the other versions. Because, like, but at least it has some good stabilization for someone like me who collects these to and displays them rather. But if I were a kid that I bought this to play with, I would be kind of disappointed in that, like the other versions. But also with both legs, do you have that like spinny gear piece, but also asymmetric, but it works with it. So that's for this lower area, which has, which is like coated with tiles and slopes. And same with this back area where it does have a little more than that, but has the paint roller pieces, but acting as greeples. Good use of pieces there. So which almost like similar to the 2016 version. And that's for this upper area with as it you can kind of see the like spring load launcher feature in it. So you can tap it and it shoots out. Not uh, just about like the other versions. And as for the head area, which if you look at it from the front, which is kind of similar to those, is both, except it has a large stickered tile there. And on this side of which have another one of those pieces there, and also on both sides in now has the Nexo Knights shield pieces acting as other detailing. 
but also on this side, also the same. But as for the top area, which does have a couple bars on it, but one hatch does open up and has a couple of bars for, for a mini fig to hold on to, kind of like Chewbacca did in episode 6. But however, the whole roof of it does fold up. But however, there is and a, a seat for just one figure and but if you remember in Return of the Jedi there is supposed to be two seats right next to each other or same with like the other couple of ones but no just a single one which they haven't figured out yet you see there's another pistol for a character to grab onto and things and also another control panel there And as you can see, this top area, of which is double pivoted, like the Rogue One version. Okay, so on to a little comparison with the 2016 Rogue One version. Of which, as you can see, the legs of which done quite the same, but except has the little slopes rather than the like. Uh, ratcheted ones pieces and legs done quite the same but with some different bits added to it and of course it has the vines added in but this one which does have a lot of exposed studs which they could have covered with tiles and such but the new one of which does have some more of that and the head areas of which done quite about the same but with a couple of things switched around as he has a large uh, plate, he's rather than the Nexo Knight's shield. And also done quite the same on the back, so much. Oops. And also uses tiles for back with for the back venting rather than on bricks. Both turn quite goodly, and as you can see, backs are pretty much similar to that. And also, a price the price point like this was $40, and this new one is $50. So, kind of a bit of a 10 like a $10 difference, probably for the mini fig selection. Like, this had three figs, and this one now has four. So, but, or maybe it's for like. Uh, purposing, or maybe it's for licensing purposes or whatever. And so now, let me get these off and we'll call the final verdict. So for my overall verdict on this set is this I think a pretty good version of the ATST Raider or locker, but at least has some greeples and some other uh, color schemes going on, which we haven't seen in other versions of it. But also, of course, this is the first one for the Mandalorian, of course. And also, not sure how it has this, because for the Mandalorian show, at least at the time of this recording, which is on Disney+, Plus, and also at the time of this recording, hasn't yet come out on downloads here in America, oops, or in the United States, yeah. And if you're like looking forward to, and also this is the first set based off of a Disney Plus show, so we'll probably see some more from like the uh, uh, MCU Marvel ones, like the Falcon and Winter Soldier and things. And if you're looking to pick up this set and add it and start your collection of the Mandalorian sets then go ahead and pick it up and if you are itching to get a ATST for your collection then also go ahead and pick this up and that is it with this video and please like on and subscribe and thanks for watching